Good morning! Here is your weekly dose of behavior analysis. This week we are going to chat about helpful behavior and things that you can encourage your little one to do that will be helpful for you and make your life easier and also potentially decrease some challenging behaviors for you. So I wanted to break this down into two different thoughts. One is what we call daily living skills. So these are the self-help, self-care skills that your child is working on that you want them to be able to do, like brushing their teeth, washing their hands, putting clothes in the hamper. There's a run-of-the-mill list I can offer a lot of you that have been asking about chores that your slightly older kiddos could be doing. But you can start chores as young as Evelyn's age. I have her help me feed the dogs. I have her put stuff in the trash now. I have her put stuff in the sink. And a lot of kids really thrive off of being a part of those routines and not just watching you do them. It also gives them something to do so that they're not just watching you. And a lot of them really love to be praised for doing that. Evelyn really loves to be called a helper and told what a good helper she is, which is going to be helpful when this baby boy arrives. But that is something that you can do is try and think of, and I can offer you a list if you have questions, things that your kiddo can be helpful to help you around the house, like chores, things that other self-care stuff that I'm working on with Evelyn is dressing and undressing herself. So when it's bath time, we are encouraging and helping her to mostly undress herself. She can actually do her shirts and socks mostly by herself. The pants give her a bit of trouble, but she's becoming very helpful with those still. So dressing and undressing. I have started letting her play with a toothbrush, like there's a toothbrush in her toy bin right now, so that she can get more helpful right now. Right now she lets us brush her teeth, but I'd like for her to be able to start grasping the idea of what we're doing and how she can do it herself. Look at this crazy postpartum hair. <laughs> but the other area of thought I wanted to go with helpful behavior is when you're out and about, Evelyn was starting to give me a hard time. I think many of you probably saw my Instagram stories with grocery shopping. If we're doing more than 10 items, she was getting really bored of being in the shopping cart and was giving me a hard time about it. So I thought about what are things, because I don't want to be stressing my life more and doing more frequent grocery trips because I can only be running into the store for 10 items. I want to be able to do a full grocery run with her when I need to. So thinking about that, and we had tried bringing certain toys, certain toys that are only allowed to come into the grocery store so that they'd be exciting. She wasn't having that. Snacks can be helpful, although that's not always going to align with your snack time. But what I've found, to work the best for us right now is giving her, sorry, Penny, um, is giving her jobs to do when we're at the grocery store. She's just so silly, huh? So when we're at the grocery store, when we're in the produce section, having her pick out the bananas, having her pick out the avocados, having her then help me put the avocados in the bag, having her touch and point to and count, what is wrong? Count the different items we'll point to and I count for her, uh, the different items that we're putting in the cart. So if you're interested in something like that, also reach out to me and I can give you some ideas and tips and tricks about that for your little one. But thinking of ways that you can help your child help you so that your day is less stressful, their day is less stressful, and they are feeling like they are a successful part of your day. 
So good luck. Let me know how it goes.